A very good morning, my dear students. I welcome you once again to the session. And today we are going to understand some more terms. So here we go. Homo zygous condition. Hetero Jigus condition dominant allele and recessive allele. By now we know that genes occur in alternative forms. This alternative forms of the genes as pairs will control a character. It means for a character, a pair of alleles are required. However, this pair of alleles which expresses a character can be in two forms. Number one, the pair of alleles can be in an identical form Or the pair of alleles can be in a non identical form. Now I would like to give you an example by which we will understand a homozygous and a heterozygous condition. If we consider capital A and capital A as a pair of alleles occupying the same loci in the homologous chromosome as capital A, capital A. These two are homologous chromosome and these are the position of these two alleles and this allele is similar to this allele. Here we see both the alleles are identical. Such a condition where a pair of alleles are identical to each other is called a homozygous condition.
Next, we come to the heterozygous condition. Here, in the heterozygous condition, the pair of alleles are non-identical. That is, in a homologous chromosome, the two alleles that occupy the same loci are non-identical to one another. That is, this allele is not an identical form of this allele that controls a character. So now we can conclude that in a homozygous condition, alleles are similar to one another. That is homo meaning same. Zygous derived from the zygote condition. Likewise, heterozygous is a condition where the alleles are non-identical, that is hetero meaning dissimilar and zygous derived from once again the zygote condition. A dominant allele is one that expresses itself in homozygous as well as in heterozygous conditions. It is represented by capital letters. Whereas a recessive allele is one which only expresses itself in a homozygous condition, but cannot express itself in a heterozygous condition. It is represented by a small letter. So now we have come to an understanding that an allele which 
when present in homozygous condition as well as in heterozygous condition and have the ability to express itself is called a dominant allele whereas an allele which only possesses the ability to express itself in a homozygous condition but does not express itself in a heterozygous condition is called a recessive allele and the dominant allele is represented by a capital letter and a recessive allele is represented by a small letter. Now I shall show you an example to have a clear idea of a dominant and a recessive gene. In this example, let us take a character color of seed. Now this color of the seed will have two variations. Let us consider this variation as yellow color and the other one as green color. Now if we consider that the yellow color of the seed is controlled by an allele capital Y, then the green color of the seed will be controlled by an allele small y. Here, since the allele is represented by a capital letter, this becomes a dominant allele and this becomes a recessive allele. Hence, we come to a conclusion that the combination of alleles for the expression of a character can be represented in three combinations. These three combinations will be explained to you all in terms of the same example, color of the Number seed. Number one combination for the expression of the color of the seed can be written as capital Y, capital Y. Number two combination can be written as capital Y, small y. And number three combination can be written as small y, small y for the expression of the color of the seed. This combination having two capital Y, that is a pair of identical alleles, is a condition which is homozygous dominant condition. Second, we see a pair of alleles controlling the same character, but the two alleles are non-identical. Here, only one of them will be able to express for the color of the seed, and this condition is called heterozygous dominant condition. The last one, we see there is a pair of identical alleles which will express the color of the seed and this pair which is identical but written in small letters therefore will become homozygous 
but it is referred to as homozygous recessive condition. Finally, we come to our conclusion that a dominant allele will be able to express itself in a homozygous condition as well as in a heterozygous condition. Whereas, a recessive allele will only be able to express itself in a homozygous condition, but not in a heterozygous condition. Thank you.